on the Harbor Freight uh, scale here, I'm going to check the ohm scale. Set this to 200. Turn it on. This is the 37772. Short this together. I'll make sure I move the connectors back and forth some to get the dirt or anything out. Six tenths of an ohm. That's of the leads and the meter. Take up the one ohm standard. There it is, 1.6. So that one's on the money. Here's a 20 ohm gizmo and uh, 20.6 so it's on the money there here's a 50 ohm general radio standard 50.5 pretty close here's a 600 ohm put this on the 2k scale zero the leads make sure it's zero there's zero There's 600, 598. This is plus or minus 0.025%. General radio 500G. Here's a 5K resistor. Put it on the 20K scale. Short it out to make sure we're zero. When you get up in these higher range, you don't want to put your finger across it because it'll add what your resistance your body is. 4.98. Pretty good. Here's another one I've got. 4.98. And here's a 10K Leeds and Northrop standard. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one on. Here's 9.99. So the Harbor Freight meter is fairly accurate. Fairly accurate. It's actually very accurate. Uh, the downside of one of meters like this is with time, the tend to, uh, if you bought one that was a fluke or a higher end meter, the contacts on this are much better, but this was only 19 bucks versus, you know, hundreds sometimes for a much better one. So professionally, if you got to, you know, have one, a fluke or the higher end ones work better. This is one here that uh, works very well, actually. It's a huge uh, bang for the buck on what you've got. Now a meter like this, even though this is real accurate on the ohm scale, what I've noticed using high-end meters and even cheap ones, over time when they tend to get older, you can get to where, um, especially in the low-end ones here, you can get to where you can get some falsehoods. If the battery's a little bit low and you got the bat warning, you'll be fine, constantly fighting to where you short this out, and then the number of ohms is you have to subtract off can vary a little bit because you're putting a lot of current now through this compared to the higher end settings and uh, also you can get scratchiness here so you need to move this back and forth so if you're measuring some winding resistances you're down into the hokey range where I always like to go through short this together like this make sure I've got a consistent reading and then go through and take a reading and come back and make sure you really got this off if you got some different leads or something you can get some resistance on there that can add to it or some flakiness.